The beautiful historic streets of York are filled with the hustle and bustle of busy shoppers. One type of shop that is in high demand is independent antique shops. But why are they so popular, even today? slump in the antique trade as far as the city centre is concerned because of car parking but um, so to the old-fashioned antique shops which I'm partially even though I have giftware as well um, are not having a good time of it so it always amazes me when I meet quite wealthy people who um, buy the new way on the internet and um, there are warehouses in the country and I, I had some wealthy friends who moved to York and said we'd like to buy antiques where do we go and I said oh it's all on the decline, you know, the shops are closing down. And eventually they came back to me one day and said, there's this warehouse in the country you're coming with us. And I thought, they're telling me about my business, you know. The John Oglesby collection on Gilligate has a variety of antiques and crafts. Being independently owned, it gives a more personal shopping experience. Although, in these austere times, our business is not threatened. I think the, um, as far as antiques in the town centre are concerned, uh, I honestly think that it might diet apart from maybe the antique centres but I think the individual shopkeeper just won't be able to afford the overheads and I think the biggest threat is the um, out-of-town shopping centres. Uh, they're taking trade out of York. The antique centre on Stonegate has a thriving business with three floors and a cafe It is one of the most popular in York. all changed and the romance has gone out of it. It is easier to buy now, um, uh, but it means, uh, you know, owning a shop 20 years ago meant freedom in a way, because you could afford a little lady to sit in here, um, the rates were low, um, and you could run a big car and travel around the country and have freedom buying stuff, and it would be quite a quick turnover. Is it for the history? Do people prefer to have something that has a story? You know, you get a gut feeling for things. Um, when some people see fake oil paintings, they say, how can you tell? And it's just experience, really. Um, you just get to know. It's like a sense. It's like a smell. So, do you think um, antiques do have a future? Oh yes, I hope so. Um, I think a lot of people have been recently into minimalism. And they've gone from one extreme to the other. Whenever there's news on television about recession, people stop buying luxury goods. As soon as the news gets brighter, people feel more confident. Thank you.